before we can say that we believe in god and love god we must know god not about god we need to put effort into getting to know god more through the word the eternal and unchanging word of god prayer the bible that transcends time walking with god part 1 prayer 9 what should we pray for part 3 Prayer is communion, relationship, companionship and communication with God, a Christian's privilege that Christians enjoy throughout their lives. And prayer is not a method and technique but is a special duty and right based on the biblical knowledge of God as an attitude of faith and obedience. Pray for God and the kingdom of God and his kingdom to come. God said to Abraham, "Do not be afraid, Abraham. I am your shield, your great reward." It means that what God gives is not Abraham's reward but God himself is Abraham's reward. We must not miss this. As explained above, if we believe in God's omnipotence and also believe that God acts before us, we should not only be concerned with what God has done for us. Our prayers are not to seek God's strength, not to receive anything from God, but God himself. What we need to seek is God. My soul finds rest in God alone. My salvation comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. Find rest, O oh my soul, in God alone. My hope comes from him. He alone is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. Yet I will rejoice in the Lord. I will be joyful in God, my savior. The sovereign Lord is my strength. He makes my feet like the feet of a deer. He enables me to go on the heights. for the director of music on my stringed instruments god has loved us from before eternity and will be with us forever this is our faith but god the father wants us to voluntarily seek him and walk with him in joy we must pray we must ask instead of being someone who seek the things of the world without god we must seek god a christian who seeks god is bound to seek the kingdom of god So do not worry saying what shall we eat or what shall we drink or what shall we wear for the pagans run after all these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be given to you as well it clearly states what we should seek first in this way christians who seek god and seek the kingdom of god will seek god's rule in our lives as people of the kingdom of god so jesus said do not be like them for your father knows what you need before you ask him This then is how you should pray. And the first thing he taught in prayer was, "Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven." Jesus, who called God as his father, is first speaking of the coming of the kingdom of God. This is what Christians should seek first. Our prayer is not the type of wish making that informs God of our wishes and plans, but is thanking the perfect God who knows us better than we do. Singing praises to God, exalting God, and praising god the god who knows all our circumstances and situations the god who knows our past present future and our father almighty god who loves us so much we must believe in this eternal relationship in which we are in god in jesus christ and god works with us we need to know this relationship with god correctly our prayers do not seek god's strength nor are we getting something from god we must seek god we need to ask for the kingdom of god to be established in our lives seek the knowledge of god the continuous emphasis is to not forget our special identity we are god's adopted heirs who will share god's inheritance with his firstborn son jesus christ who calls god the creator as father we became god's children just because we are his children it does not mean that we can ask for anything at any time but because we are his children we need to ask for things as a child one of the things that a child is most like a child is knowing god the father Again we must never forget that God's actions in caring for us are not based on our prayers but on God's faithfulness. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. But I gave them this command, obey me and I will be your God and you will be my people. Walk in all the ways I command you that it may go well with you. God blessed Abraham and wanted all peoples on the earth to be blessed through him. and we know from the bible that blessing is the gospel the scripture foreshow that god would justify the gentiles by faith and announce the gospel in advance to abraham 
All nations will be blessed through you. So those who have faith are blessed along with Abraham, the man of faith. But the Bible says that God's people do not know God. Hear the word of the Lord, you Israelites, because the Lord has a charge to bring against you who live in the land. There is no faithfulness, no love, no acknowledgement of God in the land. My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge. Because you have rejected knowledge, I also reject you as my priest. Because you have ignored the law of your God, I will also ignore your children. Let us acknowledge the Lord. Let us press on to acknowledge Him. As surely as the sun rises, He will appear. He will come to us like the winter rains, like the spring rains that water the earth. For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, and acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. If we are God's people, God's children, we must properly know God, not about God. If we are a child of God, we should know that knowing exactly what God wants is more important than believing in God or loving God. This is really important. If we are not interested in God and focus only on making our wishes to God, then perhaps we are acting as God's masters rather than God's children. For whoever does the will of my Father in heaven is my brother and sister and mother. Whoever does God's will is my brother and sister and my mother. He replied, My mother and brothers are those who hear God's word and put it into practice. Jesus said that those who firmly hear the word of God and do the will of God are his brothers, sisters and mothers. The Bible goes on to say, The world and its desires pass away, but the man who does the will of God lives forever. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing and perfect will. Therefore, knowing the will of God is like life. If we know and believe the love that God, who existed from before eternity and after eternity, created this world and so loved us that He sent His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross to atone for our sins, then it is impossible to have our voices reach Him through fasting and praying all night long to simply obsess over making our wishes come true, without any concern for God and His will. The Bible that transcends time, prayer series, what should we pray for, continues.